Greetings, Eivor. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. Ah, good. I hope this one did not give you too much trouble. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go. Then go in peace. Sunin, guide me. Admit it, Alvis. I am the superior wordsmith. Admit to a falsehood? What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. <clears throat> you see, flighting is simple. So hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh, and, um... Lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? Alvis is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. I suppose it will do for the moment, though it lacks the grandiosity of the Empire at its peak. Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I have seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Eivor, have you ever been in love? Why do you ask? I wonder if you know the feeling of having your very heart pulled from your chest as it pursues the elusive object of your desire. 
I wonder if you have ever known the bitter agony of seeing your beloved in the arms of another. I have known such a pain, and Maximus was its source. One of your lovers. Oh, God, no! No, no, no! Maximus is a snake and a leech. A slime-encrusted, blood-sucking viper of a man. He stole from me my beloved. A perfectly preserved statue of a legionnaire. It is all I desire in this world. Lost, I heard. Maximus was holed up in and around London. Holding my beloved captive. Leering and pawing at it, no doubt. If you should ever see him, give him my regards. By that, I mean spit on him. Then recover my statue. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Bonum fortunum in your travels, Eivor. You don't like it. It's not that. It's just not terribly Roman. It needs more. More relics, more statuary, more... room. If you happen to find any distinctly Roman artifacts on your travels, bring them by. We can make something of this mess yet. You look well. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Spirna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter, and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children. No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Eivor, have you seen Wallace? Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. We can retrace his steps. With luck, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. <laughs> oh. 
Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. Oh no! Eivor! Over here! A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at his eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Strong scent down here. Strange and heavy. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost... pleasant. Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Hmm. Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Why would he leave his campsite? Where could he have been going? found I saw it Eivor I saw him nearby Wallace the white elk the white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago it was there I saw it there are you certain as sure as I see you now he's back our guardian is back leading us Petra, where are you? Evil, I'm here. Come. Petra, hello. Mimi, guide me. Have I lost her too? Ah, the elk. He will know where she has gone. I'm sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the White Elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. Do you live a comforting life? Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! <laughs> Is Petra near? Uh, I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. What? What is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Take your evil back to Sutunga's Hall! <laughs> what have you done with Petra? We use them! Ah. What have you done to Petra? Answer me! Eivor! Stop! I'm there! I will make them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Eivor, I am right 
here. There is no need to question this carrion further. Ah, uh, yes. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there. His trail leads this way. Petra, I, I met your old friend, the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited. For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Oh, look there. This is strange, Seda Vitra. Where are you? Petra, how are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? I'll show you. How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move, run in a straight line. No, 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 no! Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it, just like your Soonan! And not a scratch on you! Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I, I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no! The wolf spirits have wakened! Good day, sir. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wallace? Damn! This one doesn't speak rabbit! Petra, hurry! I see him. Come on, Eivor, chase the elk! No, no, please don't disappear! Not now! Ah, not until we have Wallace! No, no, don't go! Wait, wait. We're home. Full circle with nothing to show for it. Uh, so what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone brain stoat, we've been looking for you! And here I am, freshly rested and ready to work. Your day's late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home, slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk, just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They are often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be buzzing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. But I will have to ask the rabbits for permission.
Good day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, oh, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild. A legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you? Or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. A striking color. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You must keep your eyes open for this mineral. It has great value. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people. My other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. A pleasure to... What have you got for me today?
You are looking powerful. I must take my leave. So long. Fight well, Eivor. May I see your stores? Done for now. I will see you later, friend. Until next we meet. I should meet this abbess, Wolfhilda. Greetings. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Letter Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent.
Falcons, Raven King. and prayed on the St. Chad at Tamworth. I was a monk. I should have stayed there. Did St. Chad die with his axe in his hand? St. Chad will be revered for avoiding the axe. I wish I had done so myself and not taken a path full of violent honor. The old gods will fade from our sight in time. God forgive me for I have sinned. What do you see, Sunim? Are you Sigurd Stranger? Igor! Eivor! If you keep that up, we'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! <laughs> now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy. 
to run amok through the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You planted your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. This must be that old raider's place. He said he wanted me to have his things. Cast about this lad, my friend. Not everything. This crate is filled with songs. Must have taken a long time to write them all out. I should return this crate to the old raider. So, some of us are staying behind as I hit it. Half the army's already in Tamworth, and we've now got help from the south. These are some trinkets you left behind, old man. Ah, you've come back! Why are you wasting your time with me? This crate has all of your written songs. This is not a gift I can accept or repay. You will want to revisit these someday. They should stay with you. I had forgotten all about them. Something to work at on this new journey of mine. You have only the setting sun to tell you when to stop. And maybe not even then. That is twice you have earned my admiration. Please, tell me your name. Eivor. Eivor. If the gods will it, I will find my seat at Odin's table before you. And there I will speak of you so that when the time comes to claim your seat, they will greet you by name. Farewell.
Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burgrid sent a Vergeld your way. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Upa and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shellwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. It sounds like you'll be a king in name only. A puppet. I am doing my part. I hope you have come to do yours. We are going to need all the help we can get for what comes next. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes, remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh. You rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. Bring 
your men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields, and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future... Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the Spearden. And the Thunder of Shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of he war. does not need to fight to be Move. a... Move! Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. These men are my friends. My countrymen. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha! You hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Chelbert? The stink of jealousy, of our budding friendship, I think. What is Chelwulf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Chelwulf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Fears are with us, common folk. Burgred still has his soldiers all over mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Thornburg in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name, a boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald, by words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any scald's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise.
In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge, as easily as if he might hand over a barrel of mead. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my skull. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something, as if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Information? I have it. Do you need it? My prices are competitive. Yes, all right. Right. Let me show you something on your map. Pagan rats, ravenous, unseemly beasts, teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's ex that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, Pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle. But we're much better poets. <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog. You're all the same to me. All godless. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. You know your way around a battering ram. 
I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. You're strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. You. I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong? I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide, it's up to you. Soldiers, leave the king to me.
Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Atheling. Where was the son of our king? Chael Bad was around. Maybe you missed him. Your lies are just like you, Eivor. Big and bold. Arkrat called for help. Enlisted the aid of powerful men. But who are these warriors he speaks of? Arkrat called for help. Enlisted the aid of powerful men. But who are these warriors he speaks of? Found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tana Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We are wasting time. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tana's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. But keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor.
staying this long, Alice. We'll turn this clan a settle. 